Well hello, it's Cliff here. In this video I'm going to briefly introduce a new range of tool setters from Hallmark Design Limited. You've probably seen in recent months this uh, prototype I've been developing a, a new type of ETS tool setter. Decided to call it a uh, lathe tool setter electronic LTSE and I've been doing a production run of pilot production run of 20 of these a really brilliant little lathe tool setter that has an LED and or a beeper and also can be plugged in to sort of future potentially future proof you so that you can use your uh, machine if or when the machine has it your NC lathe to do automatic probing routines to automatically set your tool offsets. So I began to realize as I was making these that there's quite a lot of work in these and it might not suit the budget of everyone. I really needed to come up with a lower cost design tool setter. I've been working on different prototypes and eventually settled on the design of this tool setter, a lathe tool setter mechanical LTSM. And it uses a dial indicator to mechanically show you the movement and the X and the Z. Um, really pleased with this design. It's got very good accuracy and repeatability. It uses the same index dial for the rotary position, um, but it's a much simpler lathe tool setter to manufacture. Still all hardened and ground, but just a lot less work. So I'll be going into the details of this lathe tool setter also and also making a few samples of the original lathe tool setter a fixed lathe tool setter using the D shape you might remember a year or two ago when I got rapid turn I found that this type of D section uh, lathe tool assistance gauge piece lathe tool setter just a piece of diameter split in half was very useful for setting uh, the mounting positions initially, alignment of the tools, and then setting the X and Z offsets. And then when I got Slant Pro, I really needed to do something to help me get it in a better rotary alignment because of the angles involved. And so I developed this index plate with little bubble vials on it. And that combination is a very simple, low-cost lathe tool setter that really speeds up the process of setting your tools. Not quite as much as the electronic tool setter or the mechanical tool setter, but still much better than having no tool setter at all. So I've made a few samples of these, and I want to introduce these as well. So this is a range of three lathe tool setters, starting with the lathe tool setter fixed, LTSF, going up to the lathe tool setter mechanical, LTSM, and finally, the top of the range, lathe tool setter electronic, LTSE. All right, I'll go into using these briefly now and some of the features that they have. All right, well, this video is just an overview video, but I think I should do a quick recap of how you set up these lathe tool setters. So we bring down a dial indicator in contact with the anvil face, traverse it backwards and forwards, rotate the spindle until it is parallel, so the anvil face is parallel to the x-axis. And now we can set the index plate in its rotary position with the central bubble in the middle, the bubble vial in the middle. You only have to do this once and now whenever we install the lathe tool setter in the spindle we can quickly get it back into this position just by rotating the bubble into the middle and then we know that the anvil is parallel with the x-axis. This is covered in the uh, original development videos uh, a few months ago in detail if you're interested but this is just a quick overview in case you haven't seen those videos and so the first stage when you're setting your tools is to mount them and align them um, and that's quite time-consuming 
Some tools, for example, boring bars, if they're held on a diameter in a bore, need to be rotationally aligned and then often have a slope so the top of the insert is not parallel with the x-axis but it's tipped down and this type of anvil setup effectively a d-shaped setter is very handy because you can just twist it until you're on center if your bore's on center then you know you've got it in correct alignment and for setting other tools it's very useful to have an anvil with the top surface parallel to the x-axis so the first thing you do is physically set the geometry of all the tools, clamp them and mount them in position. Alright, so once we've mounted all the tools, we then go on to setting the tool offsets. So we rotate the tool forwards or backwards depending on the orientation of the tool. And then we align it with the bubble in the bubble vial. I'll just zoom in on this. Hopefully you can see that okay. We just bring the tool in contact with the anvil with this mechanical tool setter. We watch the dial indicator. You can hopefully see the needle there. Once it strikes zero, we're on X center there. And uh, we enter zero into the X tool touch off. And we set the X as simple as that. And we set the Z equally simple. The same thing when the needle swings past zero. Then we enter zero into the Z tool touch off facility. So we just go through and set the different tools with this dial indicator type. As the needle swings past zero, we set it up that that is on the center line of the lathe. All right, let's change over to the LTSE. So we've just mounted all our tools let's imagine and we've got a boring bar facing the other way this time we turn the unit around using the bubble to line it up in that position switch the setter LED on come into contact and once you're in contact the LED goes out and you enter zero into the tool table. So that's even easier to use because if the light's not very good, so the same on the Z. Just come into contact as soon as the light goes out or if you prefer when the light comes back on as you retract away, as long as you use the same system, then you enter zero into the Z tool touch off. And so, so on with all the different tools. This is just an overview video to give you a rough idea of what it does. I'll go into the details of each of the three tool setters with a separate video for each one. Well, let's just show one more example, a conventional turning tool. So we turn the anvil face to the back again, set it up with the bubble vial in the right rotary position. We select our tool number in the tool setup page come into contact, we put the LED or the beeper on. I haven't used the example of the beeper because I know a lot of people find that annoying. Come into contact, and the light goes out, enter zero in the X offset. Tool touch facility, come in with the Z. And again, zero in the Z touch off. Go through the tools. You can see this saves a lot of time mounting the tools and setting your tool offsets. The LTSE will be available with either a beeper and or a LED. At the time of making these videos, Tormac don't have automatic probing routines for setting your tool offsets in Slant Pro or Rapid Turn but I know some of you will be interested in this subject, so I can sort of simulate it to show you how the unit is uh, potentially future-proofed. So we can plug in to the accessory socket and into the little uh, lathe tool setter electronic, the LTSE. 
So the LTSE can be used in two different ways. When there's no cable plugged into it, it is a self-contained battery operated circuit that breaks on a touch event. When you plug in a plug into the 3.5 mono socket, it's a switchable socket and it switches that circuit right off and connects up to the circuit of the cable now and it's a passive normally closed NC circuit similar to the circuit in touch probes and suitable for low voltage switching into most uh, small CNC machines control software. So let's just go through now uh, a simulated probing routine as if it was set up as a lathe um, roughly in that orientation with a boring bar and the LTSE. So that's setting the, for example, the X, and we might set the Z this way. And you can see how that now works as a automatic lathe tool setter. So to some extent, it is potentially future-proofed, the LTSE. So that was just a very brief overview video of the LTSE, the LTSM, and the LTSF. If you're interested in either of these three products, have a look at the links in the description below where I'll have specific videos on each of these setters and go into it in much more detail.